This is um, um, Debian Linux on an i3 desktop. Um, if you'll look here down um, to my left here, you'll be able to see um, that there's some little tiny buttons on here and those buttons allow you to change desktops. Um, and so you can just click on each one of those and as you click on them, you'll have different desktops. And this is actually running on uh, Debian uh, Buster uh, Linux. Um, and um, one of the advantages of this is that you, you can have multiple desktops on, on one desktop and still have all your other desktops on the other desktops. And so if you're doing different things and you want to switch things like um, a Word document on one, you can just click this little button right here and it will um, give you um, another desktop. And so um, this little button here. And so, um, and so like if you had Word in one document you wanted to open up and then if you had um, a file manager you had to open up on a different desktop, you could have different desktops for each one. Um, and so um, oh, the thing is with, with i3 is you have to configure it yourself. Uh, when you first load the system, it asks you if you want to create a configuration file. You have to say yes. Uh, the configuration file runs everything on an i3 system. Um, and you have a default configuration when you start. You may or may not have D menu. Uh, you should have D menu, but if you don't, you can always just do an install for D menu and that'll take care of that. Uh, you can open up D menu with Control D um, and that gives you a list of your programs. Um, the thing about i3 is that you hit um, your, and then also after when you go in, and you create this uh, after you have created your, um, um, your configuration file. It'll ask you what your mod key is, and you'll ask. And if you choose the first option, it'll give you the Windows key. And if you uh, choose another option, you'll have the Alt key. I usually just choose the first one. It doesn't make any difference, but uh, it'll make more difference when you configure your configuration file, which you're going to have to do. Um, the default stuff has some stuff in there that's useful. Um, you can configure things like uh, your mod key and an open key to open programs and then um, you have to go to a i3.org um, website and they have all the documentation there to help you get started. Um, and so it has a lot of useful information there you can find and that useful information will allow you to um, be able to uh, um, to, to set things up um, where you can open programs or you can resize windows, move windows. Um, th there are some default settings that do these things, but if you set some things up on your own, it's actually more useful. Um, and so I have a bunch of these things that I have set up on this. Um, anyway, that's all I have to say for right now. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And thanks a lot.